Hi there, CJ Math students. So I will help you out with homework 8.4, Angles and Equations. Notice I only ask you to find the value of x. I don't ask you to plug back in and tell me the measurement of the angle. So the first thing you need to do is write what the relationship is. So for number one, the relationship is complementary. So therefore, 3x plus 7 plus 56 have to add up to 90 degrees. This angle plus this angle have to give you 90. You first combine like terms and you get 3x plus 63 equals 90. We then subtract 63 from both sides, and we get 3x is equal to 27. Divided by 3, we get our answer as x is equal to 9. Number 2, the relationship will also be complementary. Number 3, the relationship is still complementary. We have that right angle, so x plus 10 plus 5x plus 2 has to add together to equal 90 degrees. We find our like terms, x and 5x is 6x, 10 and 2 is 12. That has to add up to 90 degrees, so we subtract 12 from both sides. We get 6x is equal to 78. We divide by 6, and we get x is equal to 13. Number four's relationship is also complementary. Number five, we have finally a supplementary relationship. So that means 2x plus 30 has to add up to 180 degrees because of the supplementary relationship between the two angles. I subtract 30 from both sides. I get 2x is equal to 150. I divide by 2, and I get x is equal to 75. Number 6 will also be a supplementary relationship. Number 7 I have a supplementary relationship. So I'll have 3x plus 1 plus x minus 17 has to add up to 180 degrees. 3x and x will give me 4x. 1 and negative 17 will give me plus negative 16 equals 180. I'll add 16 to both sides. I'll get 4x is equal to 196. I'll then divide by 4 and x will give me 49. 8 will also be a supplementary relationship. Number 9 we have a, our first vertical relationship. Vertical means that they are equal, so we will set 5x plus 1 equal to 41. We'll then simply just subtract 1 from both sides, and we'll get 5x is equal to 40. Divide by 5, we get our answer of x is equal to 8. Number 10 also has a vertical relationship. Now, use the exterior angle theorem. For us, this will be supplementary theorem. And the triangle angle sum, meaning all angles in triangle add up to 180 degrees, to answer each question. So find the measure of B, C, D. Here's B, C, D. They want this measure right here. Well, this is a supplementary relationship. So we can find that measure by doing 180 minus 55. These two angles lie on a straight line, meaning they have to add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, they're supplementary. 180 minus 55 gives us our answer for this angle as 125 degrees. Find the measure of angle ABC. ABC is this angle. Notice that's on the inside of the triangle. We'll use the triangle angle sum theorem. Sorry for that. The triangle angle sum theorem to say, hey, all angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. We'll then subtract the angles we know. We know 40 and we know 55. 180 minus 40 minus 55 gives you your answer of 85 degrees. I will help you with number three in that LOM is the triangle angle sum theorem. So you'll have to do 180 minus the two angles you know of 76 and 24 to get this answer. And POM is the supplementary relationship, meaning the answer you get here 
you'll have to do 180 minus your answer here to get your answer of P O M. For number five, what is the measure of RTS? RTS is an interior angle here, but lies on the straight line with 100 degrees, 155, excuse me. That's a supplementary relationship. 180 minus 155 gives you your answer of 25 degrees. You should now write 25 inside here. What's the measure of SRT? SRT is an angle that lies on the inside of the triangle. We'll use the triangle angle sum theorem. All angles on the inside of the triangle must add up to 180. So 180 minus the angle we now know to be 25 and minus the other angle we know inside of 110. When you subtract that, you get 45 degrees. Finally, what's the angle of QRS? Well, QRS is on the outside. We should put our 45 degrees that we found from the last one, and we also recognize that, hey, this is on a straight line again. So it's the supplemental um, relationship. So we'll do 180 minus 45. 180 minus 45 gives us our answer of 135 degrees. 8, 9, and 10 can be very tricky, but just understand that this box right here means 90 degrees. Hence, IHJ is simply just a right angle and gives you 90 degrees. You'll want to use for IJH, the triangle sum theorem, and for IJK, you'll want to use the supplementary theorem. Call me if you have questions. Have a good weekend.